today is what is the date exactly today is the 23rd which means it's the second day of fall right fall started yesterday am i correct i think so you know when you live in miami you lose the track of the seasons because it's summer 300 days of a year and the rest is like wanna be summer that's right oh my god i'm <laughs> You know, I don't usually like to wear white t-shirts, but it's something I'm learning to, to use. And it makes my face so pale. Actually, the camera makes me even more pale than I am. You see? Is it the light? I do have light here, of course. Anyway, guys. So, today I will be sharing with you makeup for the fall season. And I will be using... Oops, that was... That was wrong. I will be using my new tone for eyeshadow in combination with my Chanel eyeshadow which you see in a previous video and guys this tone for it is called the Noir Noir Femme anyway it's the color 29 and the colors are just adorable let me show you there we go there we go please excuse my manicure I'm going next week it's just impossible to book manicure these days in Miami it's like everybody is on vacation. How these people vacation so much? I don't get it. So the way I'm gonna create this look, guys, you know... So I'm gonna start with uh, concealer under my eyes because my eyes are just a disaster. I didn't sleep <laughs> for like a month already. And today I woke up at 4 a.m. I'm gonna use my Armani concealer in color 3.5 just a little bit under my eyes hourglass bra blush blush brush that's what happens when you sleep only four hours but for somebody who slept only four hours i have to say it's still pretty okay <laughs> i've been dealing with really bad insomnia lately i don't know why is that since i uh, hurt my toe it's like <laughs> bad I think it is because I'm like all the time thinking about not hurting my toe in a sleep because that will probably hurt so bad. So I'm like sleeping with one like out of the pillows. So you see, voila, dark circles are gone. Because makeup never really stays on my eyes, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay primer. So first I like to apply uh, nude eyeshadow all over my eyelid. I will be using combination of these two. I like to just mix them together. Can you see it's very nude, very natural. The next palette I will be using is this one from Chanel. And this one is called... Ooh, I <laughs> This one is called 268 because I cannot read the French Candeo et Expressions. So wrong. I'm sorry to all my French friends. <laughs> I'm sure I will hear about this probably very soon. I will be using this palette and my favorite tones are these two. So I am just gonna put them. Again in combination I like to dip into both and I will put them to the eye line of my you know like if you're creating eyeliner I would just like to start there because I feel sometimes when I go right away to the crease it's a mess <laughs> and then you cannot fix it I hope I'm not the only one who has this kind of issues with makeup Blending is the oh see that you see how highly pigmented is it? Blending is the magic of makeup. This eyeshadow is so so pigmented, it's incredible. So you see the difference. Every time I apply eyeshadow for some reason this part of my eye gets darker. I don't know why is that. Anyway, but you see how much open my eye is already. So I'm just gonna be slightly, very lightly working in the crease. 
crease. So guys, I cannot look anymore at these circles. There you go. That was just so wrong. And as well, if I go like too far or the makeup, the eyeshadow like drops a little bit to the corners, I like to take my hourglass. I don't like the brushes. So I just like to clean up with this brush. There we go. Lately, I'm really towards this eyeshadow because it opens my eyes and I feel my green color gets even like more pop. So now guys, I will be using my Tom Ford eyeliner brush and I will dip it to the darkest tone, which is like ashy. I think it's like brown, but really not brown because it's very dark. And I will just create like eyeliner line with the darker tone. Buff it up. So now is, what is the day today? It's a, we are finally in a Libra season, guys. I'm so excited because I'm Libra sign. My birthday is coming up. I'm on the beginning of the month, October 5th. And I'm turning 36, which I'm not so excited about. But then uh, seven days after my birthday, we have anniversary and we decide to stay in a hotel again. So I hope the weather will be perfect, beautiful and sunny. And we can hang out all day at the beach and then have anniversary dinner. And I'm having a big surprise for my husband. It's something which has been worked for three months already. <laughs> I was so worried. Oh, by the way, we have a 10 year wedding anniversary in summertime. We have anniversary of the time we met. Now it's when we got married. So we got married the 12th of October and that is coming up. So, and it will be, it will be 10 years. So I decided to do completely something different because I want to buy shoes, wallet, watch. My husband doesn't care for materialistic stuff that much as I do. <laughs> Good for him, right? Good for him. Anyway, so I decided to have somebody do something for him and it's a painting and it's something which will stick with us forever and from the beginning I was really worried because this person is not really like a professional artist, it's just like I'm painting at home as my hobby. So. I am having um, art created for my husband for his as his anniversary gift and it's large size <laughs> it will be so big and I'm wondering if we're gonna keep it in his office I was first planning to have it like behind him when he does his conference calls so people can see it but the way it's going now I feel like it may look even better in our like living room above our sofa guys you see how great this looks smoky eyes so now because it's like wow i can go because it, it's not because it's wow it is wow <laughs> but because it's nicely blended and smoky i can go a little bit more up to the crease not too high not too crazy gentle so you don't look like you have you know, the look when somebody punches you to your face. You know what happens? I see it now. You see, the eyeshadow gets to my lashes and when I close my eye, because I have these very <laughs> crazy weird eyelashes, when I close my eye, the eyeshadow goes down. So it wasn't the circles, it was the powder from my makeup. What do you think? Should I leave it this way or should I? Should I go with the bronzy parts and create a little bit of shimmer? Why not? So guys, usually for every day, this will be perfect follow look. I'm going to try to use this tone. I will apply this to the front and buff it up, blend it up. 
now I'm gonna be using my Dior Iconic Overcrawl Mascara and I really have to go close to the mirror because I'm not capable of doing this with small mirror so see you in a second and I don't like to use eyeshadow on the bottom of my eyes but I definitely enjoy mascara I think every time I apply eyeshadow on the bottom of my eye, it looks like I have dark circles. That's why I don't like to do it. And my wing with Tom Ford eyeliner, which is definitely discontinued in the style, which is the double sides. This one is like more sharp. And this one is the favorite of mine I would like to use. And I'm just gonna do the wing, like simple wing. And yes, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I need to see. Just a little wing. Can you see? Not really, right? Because I like to go very light. Very anyway, so I'm going to use my Amor Pacific Cushioned Foundation, which I have been using for a long time. And this product, guys, it has... Uh, this one is... My tone is 204 light to medium. This one has yellow undertone. Usually I like to go more for the pink one, but I just run out. I didn't really have to put the foundation on, but just lightly as you can see. It's very sheer, it's very light, it just gives you like beautiful glow. Can you see the glow? Which I will pound down <laughs> right now. So yes, this is one of my favorite products. I have been using this uh, for perhaps five or six years now. Is it a long time fly? So now I will put the powder. This one is from Laura Mercier and that's the classic powder, guys. I have it in a travel size because I don't use that much powder. And I will just hide the super shine from that foundation this bronzer guys will stick with me for the season because I really enjoy that it's matte this one is from NARS it's called the seaside and it's in between orangey and pink tone it's not too orange or too pink so it works very good for me So I have three favorite uh, blushes at the moment. The one which I use all summer is from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk. And I do enjoy this very much because it has nice, like, it's like peachy tone. Even it's pink, it has like nice peachiness to it. So I could use this one, but I have idea of two another ones. This one from Victoria Beckham, which I cannot tell you the tone, and it's cream blush or glossier. I think, guys, I will just dip a little bit of the Victoria Beckham. I like for the fall more orangey tones than pink tones, so this one is awesome. And I will just blend it. The glossier is very similar to this tone from Victoria Beckham. There we go. I went to Saks and I purchased uh, beautiful colors from MAC. And this one is the one I want to wear, but I will show you the one the last. Look at this beautiful color. How gorgeous is this one? This one is called the Marrakesh and it's matte color, which will be beautiful, beautiful for the fall. It looks a little bit more red on the camera than it is. The next color I purchased is color called Meher. I don't know how you, what it means. This one has pink, like cool pink tone beautiful as well and 
my favorite is this one which is called the velvet teddy so this one i'm just gonna go right away on my lip and let me just slap it here for you you see it's like peachy brownish nude it's perfect nude for the fall and i like to tease up the ends of my hair just to add a little bit of volume but don't go too don't go too crazy you don't want to look like you know who I did love the show for any nanny, but just to watch, not to look like it. So yes, guys, this is the look for the fall season. So what do you think of this look, guys? Do you like it? I hope you enjoyed this video. And I don't think this is very complicated. It still looks like something you can wear totally during the day if you like smoky eyes <laughs> personally i really like it so anyway thank you for watching and i see you next week have a beautiful day